Hey guys, so let's look at a program to convert the cash input from a user into bills of 2500, 100s, 50s, 20s, 10s and 1s. So if a user enters something like 12,867, you should be able to say how many 2000s can you form, how many 500s can you form, how many 100s can you form and 50s and 20s and 10s and once. So we have already finished a program to convert uh, days into years, months, weeks and days and seconds into hours, minutes and seconds. This follows the exactly same logic but it's going to be a little longer because we have around uh, seven dimensions to uh, seven uh, sorry seven bills to categorize it into. So let's take the cash entered by the user as one variable and uh, let's take 2000 as 2500 as FH, 100 as HUN, 50s as FIF, uh, 20s as TW, 10s as TE and 1s as ON. Now this is going to be a little difficult. What you can do is you can either calculate it like this or you can directly start with the printing uh, operation. So one way you can start is once the user enters scanf percentage d, we'll be taking an integer not inside a float because uh, we are converting it only up till once. We are not going to pesos, which is the decimal value. So ampersand cash we are sticking only to rupees not into paise now yes cash so you can go ahead and write 20,000 is the cash received divided by not 20,000 sorry 2,000 by 2,000 and the remaining cash is equal to the cash modulus 2,000 now again 500 can be written as the remaining cash after calculating 2,000 divided by 500 and the remaining cash is equal to cash modulus 500. Now remaining into 100 so 100 is going to be equal to cash divided by 100 and after that sorry I have written case so cash divided by 100 and the remaining cash is equal to cash modulus 100. After this 50 is going to be cash divided by 50 and remaining cash is going to be equal to uh, cash modulus 50. 20s is equal to cash divided by 20 and the remaining cash is equal to a cash modulus 20. 10 is equal to cash divided by 10 and uh, let's say cash is equal to cash sorry uh, modulus 10. Now the remaining cash that you get after this will be the number of ones that you have. So this after doing this you can go ahead and print out all the variables or there is one more method you can do where you replace this division by the printf statement directly. So you can go ahead and write printf's uh, 2000s. 2000s note is percentage d and just go ahead and write cash divided by 2000. You can write cash is equal to cash modulus 2000 over here, no problem. And instead of 500 directly, you can start write, you can write the statement for printf as printf 500s percentage d cash divided by 500. So by doing this, I have eliminated the need for this variable and this variable. I can go ahead and eliminate all of these variables and by you can write 
hundreds as cash printf hundreds one hundreds percentage d and cash divided by hundred you can go ahead and replace all these statements this statement this statement and this statement and instead of writing cash modulus 10 you can directly write instead of cash modulus 10 as print f the number of ones is percentage d and in this you can write cash modulus 10 so you have eliminated the need for all the variables and you have just worked with one single variable okay so it's not very overwhelming do not worry you can start with start off with writing the different variables and shortly you can just replace it because eventually our aim of the program is just to display in how many denominations we can keep dividing them so i have worked with just one variable instead of writing eight different variables and we have done the job so let's see this in the code so i've entered the variable cash and i'll start off with asking the user to enter the amount and scan if percentage d ampere cent cash i won't be writing the variables because i've already done two videos where i have written the variables and shortened it down you can refer those variables to see how i've shortened it down this is considerably long and therefore i will be starting directly off with the uh, printf statement and printing directly so printf slash n you can write two thousands and percentage d and this value is cash by 2000 and cash should be updated as cash modulus 2000 for finding the remaining after calculating the number of 2000s required so you can directly go ahead and print 500 percentage d and cash divided by 500 the remaining cash will be equal to cash modulus 500 then i'll just go ahead and print it so this is for hundreds hundreds and this will be cash divided by 100 and the remaining cash is cash modulus 100 now i'll do the next for 50 so this is going to be 50s and this will be cash divided by 50 and this is modulus 50. After that printing for 20s cash by 20 and this is modulus 20. Going ahead and printing for how many 10s is needed this will be cash divided by 10 and this is cash modulus 10 and the remaining uh, will be obviously cash modulus 10 will be the number of ones required so you can replace this as printf slash n ones percentage d and this will be cash modulus 10 so yes we can run the program you can start with small amounts like to see if it works 2000 will be uh, 2000s 1 and the remaining will all be zeros you can run for any random thing like 50 to check and the remaining uh, 2000s 500s and 100s is 0 just 150 and the remaining zeros you can test it for all the individual denominations and directly you can run for something like 12,867, a big amount, and it will tell you 3, 6, 2000s, 1, 500, 300s, 150s, no 20s, 1, 10s, and the remaining 7 is 1s. So this will be able to tell you how the uh, denomination should be gathered for each uh, currency so that you get an amount of 12,867. Any conversion program you have where you have to 
then you know degraded into different denominations like conversion of days into years months day weeks and days or seconds into hours minutes and seconds or cash wise anything the always start from the bigger denomination work through your way till the smallest denomination or to the smallest unit and preferably use as many less statements and as many less variables required thank you